Right then, YouTube, this is my bulking basics nutritional video. Now, this video is perfect for anyone who hasn't got a clue about bulking but wants to know about the nutritional side and is looking to build mass, get bigger, and just just sort their physique out, basically. So, to start with, I'll just let you know, I learned the hard way that the diet is key. I, I spent like the first year, maybe even year and a half, literally, just just lifting weights and just, just lifting and not even paying a clue or attention to your diet. All I used to do was just eat, I used to follow the bro science of eat six small meals a day and you, or six meals a day and you'll add weight. And yeah, it can work if you're eating enough, but it's not nece necessary to eat six meals a day. And it's, it's a lot, there's a lot more better methods and protocols to follow, which will still get you the same results. So cracking on. The first thing you need to know if you're looking in at for nutrition with your bulking plan is, and, and with any nutritional plan in fact, is what are you currently burning in calories? Without this, we don't know how, how many, we don't know how much we need to eat, do we? So to start with, you're going to work out your BMR. Now your BMR is basically your base metabolic rate. That is, that's that. That basically means how many calories are you burning if you just stay in bed all day. Now, this is dependent on your age, your, your body weight, your lean mass weight, and and your gender, okay? So, what I recommend doing is following the Harrison Benedict formula, which I'll link in the description below, and you basically just fill in those, those, those information, that information, so your, your age, your height, and your, your weight, and your, and your gender, which, you sh which I hope you should know, and... Then you click calculate and it calculates your base metabolic rate. And then what you're going to do is then, obviously because we don't all just stay in bed all day, we need to work out, right, how much am I totally burning a day, which basically you've got to take into account then your activity levels, daily activity. So what we do then is we times it by a, a multiple, which is then deter which is determined basically by how active you are. Now there'll be a list of activity levels which you'll have to, estimate roughly which category you fall into for me i fall into the category one which you times by the multiple multiplier of 1.5 because I'm, I'm a moderately active bloke I, I exercise about four times a week roughly four to five times a week so i like to put in it as that which is which precisely is one times by 1.55 now this sounds all complicated, but it's really not. Honest to God, anyone could do it. A monkey could work this out. So once you've got that, that's your maintenance calories approximately. Now you've got to you've got to take this as a pinch of salt because obviously it's not going to be a hundred percent accurate, but it's it's a damn right good shot, like balls thing to aim for. So once we've got that, we know a rough idea of our of our maintenance calories, what we need to eat to to maintain our weight. So obviously we don't. We're looking to grow. We're looking to build mass. So what we need to do is we need to add more calories onto that figure to then be in a calorie surplus because then we'll be consuming more calories than we are at maintenance. Okay, then we need to maintain. So to do that, there's, there's different approaches here. This is where you'll probably hear the terms clean bulking, lean bulking, or dirty bulking, right? So dirty bulking would suggest just eat. Like up to like a, I've seen figures thrown around up to a thousand calories more than your that your maintenance, which is absurd to be honest for most individuals because you just you're going to add weight like no tomorrow for sure, but a lot of that is going to be body fat, and who wants that? You don't want to you don't want to get a bigger gut. You want bigger muscles, don't you? And you don't want to get like a chubby face. So I recommend between three hundred and five hundred to start with. Now once you do that, what you've got to do is once you've started, once you've set it in. So if you're a beginner, you're quite a skinny individual, I'd probably, and you're quite active, I'd recommend 500 to start with, okay? For people who are like fairly moderate, fair, like fairly like, they add body fat quite easily, I'd start with a smaller figure. I, I would hit about 300 to start with and just flirt with that and then give it a couple of weeks and if you're adding weight steadily, that's great. But if you're not, Bump it up about 100 calories. Just keep bumping it up about 100 calories each time until you get to the point where you're adding about a pound every two weeks or so. You want to be aiming roughly to hit about one to between. It depends on what level of lifter you are, but 
you want to be aiming to lift to gain sorry about one to three pounds a month and that sounds small but trust me it's that's how fast muscle growth is fat loss is easy literally you can you can lose so much fat so fast but building muscle it's a different ball game it's a different plan of attack and it takes it's a lot longer trust me it takes years if you're a really skinny guy it's going to take this is a year long this is some this is like for me I'm, I'm i'm looking at i've been looking ever since i was 16 like about a five year plan literally now that sounds like a long time but i'm happy where i'm at now and i'm trying to get even better and i'm looking as you'll find out in other videos sorry for a bit of a tangent but project 22 you're i'm literally i'm three years away from where i want to be roughly i'm, I'm guessing and it's long term, mate. It's, it's it's a long term attack which you've got to accept yourself and ha understand how much you want this and then deter it. But that's another video, anyway. So sorry for the side tangent. So once we have understood our calories we need, we then need to understand the macros. Which turn that. the macros just broke. Macros are basically what your food's made of, the, the big parts which is made of. You've got macronutrients and micronutrients. The macros are your protein, your carbs, and your fats. Your micronutrients are all your vitamins and your minerals which are found in your veggies and your, your and on your fruits and stuff like that. So, the macros are what are important when it comes to weight gain, right, and, and weight loss. Micros are important when it comes to your health, okay? That's, a, that's as simple as that you need to know, okay? You then need to work, so I recommend if you're a beginner, working out your protein intake first, well for anyone really, protein first, then fats, then carbs, okay? So your protein should be about a pound, a gram per pound of body weight, ideally lean body mass, but if you can't estimate that efficiently or effectively, just go with a lean, just go with your body mass, so in pounds. So if I weigh 180 pound, I'm about say between 12 and 15% body fat, I'm guessing, then I would times my body weight by say say it's fifteen percent, just a guess. Then I would times that by 0.15, which would give me a figure, and then I deduct that figure from my total weight, and that would give me a rough idea of the amount of protein I need. For me, I aim for about 150 grams a day, roughly. Then it comes on to your fats. Now your fats are really important, which a lot of people take out of a lot of people who are new to this think fats are really bad and gonna make you fat. It's not true. Fats basically you need them for your hormonal function, your testosterone for, for function, your brain function, your to insulate your organs and protect them. It's, it's vital, literally, it's a vital macronutrient. And that's why you want to work that out second because you need 20 to 25% to 30% of your calories to come from your fat, roughly. So, if we, I'll take my phone, work out. If my, so, for me, if I'll just give you a rough idea of what I eat, I'm, a six, I'm about six foot, I weigh just under 180 pounds, and I'm assuming at the moment. 3,300 calories. I'm gonna bump it up though soon because I'm I'm hitting a bit of a plateau. So like I said, guys, you've got to you just gotta play with it. And if you're hitting a plateau and you're not gaining weight, just just bump it up a notch, hundred, and then adjust these adjust these figures to suit. Okay. So for me currently, if I'm eating 3,300 calories, I'm gonna then so type in that first. I'm then gonna times it by dependent on what you want to choose. Now, if you prefer carbohydrates, reduce your fat to 25%. If you prefer fats or you're struggling, you're having a hard time getting your carbs in, just bump up your fats a bit. Because fats, as we'll find out later, are 9 calories per gram, which is quite a bit compared to the other macros. So, 3,300. So type in yours as well. That's it. Times it by 0.2. I'm going to go for 0.25, say. Because 3,300 is quite a lot of calories, so... I don't want my fat really to just be in stupid figures of over 100. It's unnecessary in my opinion. But so times by 2.5, which is then going to give me 825. So then you're going to, knowing that one gram of fat equals nine calories. Now this is in the, this is the amount of calories our fats are going to add towards our diet. We then divide that figure by nine. So, so click equals. And that gives me 91.6. Now I'm just going to round that to 90. I'll round it to the nearest whole number. So you can even round it to 90. I'll round it. I'd round that personally to 90. Okay. 
So that's 90 grams of fat I've got to eat a day. So then I'll jot that down or write it in my, you can adjust your MyFitnessPal, which is a lifesaver. Type in 90 grams or try and get it to 90 grams roughly, okay? You're then going to work out your remaining calories as your carbs, okay? So to work that out, what we do is we have to combine our protein and fats calories to basically work out how many calories we have left to then work out, right, let's work out how many grams of carbs we need to eat a day. So to do that for myself, I would then say 150 is the amount of grams of protein is what I'm eating and protein per gram equals four calories. So knowing that, we'll times 150 by four, which equals 600. We then times, we then add, sorry, 90 times nine, because that's how many calorie, uh, grams of fat I'm eating. And if per gram fat equals nine calories, we times it by nine. Sounds confusing, but it's really not. And I'm probably overcomplicating, I'm probably making this sound confusing myself, and I hope I'm not. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty crap with my words, so I'm improving as I go. So one fat, that, that totals then 1,410 calories. So I know that I've still got, I've got to eat 3,300 calories to gain weight. So I'm going to minus that figure from 3,300, which then leaves me with that, that many calories remaining. I've got 1,890 calories remaining, okay? So to work that, the remaining calories, the carbs I need to eat, I'll divide that by four because the carbohydrates contain four calories per gram. So that you then click equals, and for me, that comes at that figure. So ignore the minus. 472.5, so I'd round that to 475, just because it's a whole number, okay? And because we did, and because we deducted the fats down, I'm gonna round the carbs up, okay? So 475 is the amount of grams of carbs I need to eat a day. So knowing that, I now know I've got a plan of attack, right? I know now exactly what I need to hit per day to gain weight. So for me, it's 150 grams of carbs, I mean 150 grams of protein, 200, I mean, 90, I'm all over the place, sorry. 150 car, 150 protein, 90 grams of fat, and 475 of carbohydrates. That then gives me a mission. That gives me a goal, which I know I need to hit per day. Then you know exactly what you're eating. Now, I recommend tracking your food and, and inputting it at least for like two weeks, just so you get a gist of this. This is called tracking your macros on MyFitnessPal. So the whole, the whole terminology of approach, you want to call it, is tracking your macros. So basically, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to weigh your food and just type in how many servings you're having of each of each food. Now this might sound ridiculous and you might think, God, Jack, I ain't, I ain't weighing my food, I ain't got time for that. It takes 30 seconds and if you want to be accurate, it's the best way to go. If you want to guess and just be like, that looks about this, that looks about that, have a go and, and be my guest. But if you haven't got a clue about nutrition, the best approach is to start tracking your food. It's good. Your, your pet family and your friends might think it's really odd and they might find it frustrating, but you've got to just say, look, I've got a goal, I know what I need to hit, I'm doing this for accuracy and measurability, if that's even a word. So you have to probably ignore a few, few people when they comment on it, and that's that. I hope that video helped. My, my parents, trust me, they're a nightmare for it still, and I've been doing this since, like, 16, roughly. I've been, like, eating lots of food and trying to get a rough idea of it, and, yeah, you do have to, you have to be a bit of a pain, especially when you, you're eating all together, but it's just an easy way to know if you're, gonna, if you're on the track for success or failure simples so i hope you've enjoyed that i hope it hasn't been like it's been quite a long video and i hope you've learned something from it and if you'd like it and found it useful or would like me to do any more videos click the like button and comment below if you what your thoughts and feedback really appreciate it so thank you very much and that's me out i can turn it off just a final note guys, I thought I'd just show you these pictures quickly and also just say my next video is going to be basically breaking down all the different types of food you can use to hit your protein, your carbs and your fats and the foods I recommend. 
Plenty more videos come in. I'm going to be hammering it this week and next week and from, from the whole year and onwards now. This is it now. It's game time. I want you guys to get results and I want I, myself to get results and I want to inspire people through my own results and through my own just approach that you can get stuff. So, this this is a picture of what I literally was like when I first started lifting and, and what I came from basically. That's the first one. As you can see, I was pointing up in that picture literally up there's no there's no bice there's no bicep whatsoever no shoulder no nothing no especially no chest number one quickly there you go now i put i print this out and i i used to have other people who i want to be like on my wall and like just to look at and like inspire me but now I put my own. I put my own pictures on the wall. It reminds me of where I've come from and what I'm and what I'm capable of. It, it inspires self belief and it also shows when on those days where you feel like a bit shit, you know where you've come from. So, on that note, if you want to see more of me and you want to learn more and you want to take some action in 2016, make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out for my uploads. I uh, hope you have a good day and I hope you take action.